Hello, and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Are you looking for a way to add some edge to your home decor? Check out these 15 spiky succulents that are sure to make a statement. From cacti to aloes, these plants come in all shapes and sizes and are perfect for anyone who wants to add a touch of the exotic to their home. In this video, I'm going to show you 15 spiky succulents that will add edge to your home decor. Spiky succulents are one of my favorite things to plant when I'm looking to add an air of edginess to my home decor. The varieties of colors and shapes are endless. They come in so many shapes, sizes, and textures that you really can't go wrong in adding at least one succulent to any room in your home. Let us get started. Number 1. Tiger Tooth Aloe Aloe Juvena the tiger tooth aloe is a small spiky succulent that originates from East Africa. It gets its name from its leaves' sharp, teeth-like edges. The leaves are also dotted with white spots, adding to the plant's overall appeal. This aloe is a slow grower and will only reach about 12 inches in height at maturity. It's mostly used as a houseplant. The plant's leaves like to stack on top of each other, forming a sort of mini structure of a rosette. This growing habit keeps the plant compact, perfect as a potted plant. Although it does produce offsets, you can easily detach them from the parent plant using a pair of pruning shears to keep the aesthetic clean. Number two, crown of thorns, Euphorbia milii. The crown of thorns is a succulent that's native to Madagascar. It gets its common name from the sharp thorns that line its stems. The plant produces small, round red flowers that bloom throughout the year. The flowers are borne on thick, many trunks that are covered with sharp spikes. This is one of the more popular euphorbias, and it's easy to see why. It's a fast grower and can easily reach six feet in height if left unchecked. It is also quite low maintenance, not requiring much care from the gardener overall. It's best to keep this spiky, succulent plant in a pot as it can get quite large. Number 3. Porcupine Tomato Plant, Solanum Pyracanthum The porcupine tomato plant is an annual succulent native to Madagascar. This plant gets its name from the spines covering the surface of its leaves, resembling the quills of a porcupine. The spines not only make it an interesting plant to look at but also protect it from being eaten by animals. The leaves are blue-green and heavily veined with orange to make a stark contrast. The spikes emerge from the midribs, making touching the leaf with bare hands a tall task. And if that wasn't enough, the plant is poisonous as well. If you have curious pets, maybe rethink moving this plant to your home. Number 4. Glossrum Howardia, Howardia macronata. The Howardia macronata, also known as the Glassroom Howardia, is a small succulent native to the Western Cape in South Africa. It is a somewhat translucent species of Howardia, meaning the leaves are almost see-through but not quite. This characteristic is what makes this species of particular note. It grows in the shape of a rosette, with each leaf lined with small spikes or teeth that are white. The Howardia macronata is a slow-growing succulent that only reaches about six inches in height. The flowers are small and white, blooming in the summertime. Number 5. Saw Leaf Agave, Agave Silenacantha. The saw leaf agave is a spiky succulent that's native to Mexico. It gets its name from the saw-like teeth that line the edges of its leaves. This agave can grow to reach up to one foot tall and about four feet wide. The leaves are thick and fleshy, with sharp teeth along their margins. They are arranged in a rosette pattern and can be either green or blue-green. The rosette is not quite as tight as some other agave species. Although the plant does produce offsets, it rarely happens in cultivation. In most cases, it remains a solitary rosette for the entirety of its lifetime. Propagation needs to be done using alternate methods. This striking plant is mostly used as an accent for showier, more vibrant species of plants. Number 6. Pearl Plant, Tulista pumila. 
The pearl plant is a small, spiky succulent that is native to South Africa. It is called pearl plant because of the way its leaves are heavily dotted with white, raised tubercles that look like pearls. It is also miniature aloe due to the heavy resemblance it has with aloe plants. This plant is fairly slow growing and can reach up to 12 inches tall and six inches wide. The stems support a rosette of vibrant, dark green leaves that are dotted with white spots. These little guys are very drought tolerant and can go for long periods without water. They do best in bright, indirect sunlight, but can tolerate some shade. Number seven, tiger jaws, Faccaria tigrina. Tiger jaws is a small, slow growing succulent that originates from South Africa. It's called tiger jaws due to the shape of its leaves, which resemble the jaws of a tiger. The leaves are lined with sharp teeth that can give you a nasty cut if you're not careful. They grow in stemless clumps, growing in a star shape spread out on the ground. This plant is definitely one of the tougher spiky succulents on this list and can tolerate some neglect. It's drought tolerant, able to survive long periods without water, but it will start to look limp and unhealthy if it doesn't get enough water. Number eight, Peri's agave, agave peri. The Peri's agave is a slow growing succulent that can reach up to three feet tall and two feet wide. It's a native of Northern and Central America. The Peri's agave has a rosette shape and can grow up to two feet in diameter. Its leaves are thick and fleshy with sharp spines on the edges and tips. The leaves are slate gray in color, edged with short, sharp spines that can cause injury if touched without gloves. What makes this particular variety of agave attractive are the broad, gray leaves that look wider than they are. The leaves form a rosette that looks brilliant when surrounded by desert foliage, perfect for a rocky garden. Number nine, golden barrel cactus, Echinococcus grusonii. The golden barrel cactus is a spherical cactus native to Mexico. It's one of the most popular cacti in the world, widespread in cultivation. This cactus is covered in spines that vary in color from yellow to brown. The spines are arranged in strictly symmetrical order along the ribs that give the plant a striking appearance. The resulting spectacle is that of a big green ball with starkly contrasting yellow spines. Although this spiky cactus is called a barrel cactus, it remains globular for much of its life. It's only in the later stages that the globe elongates to form a tall barrel. Number 10, goat's horn cactus, Astrophytum capricorn. The Astrophytum capricorn, commonly known as goat's horn cactus, is a small cactus that originates from northern Mexico. It's called goat's horn because its spines are so elongated that they resemble the horns of a goat. The plant can reach up to 12 inches tall and 6 inches wide. The stem is green and cylindrical, with 8 to 10 flat ribs. It has sharp spines that are up to 1 inch long. The flowers bloom in spring and summer, and they're white or yellow with brown spots. Goat's horn cactus is easy to care for and requires little maintenance. It prefers a bright, full sun for a few hours every day, but can tolerate some shade. Water it moderately and allow the soil to dry out between watering. Number 11, pincushion cactus, Mammillaria SBP. The pincushion cactus is a genus of cacti that contains over 200 species. They're native to Mexico and the southwestern United States. The plants are usually small and globular, with spines that vary in length from 0.4 to 2 inches. The flowers bloom in late spring and summer, and they're white, yellow, pink, or red. Pincushion cacti are easy to care for and require little maintenance. They prefer full sun, but can tolerate some shade. Water them moderately and allow the soil to dry out between watering. They're best grown in cactus potting mix or well-draining soil. These plants like to form clumps, growing offsets from the base of the main plant. Number 12, Rebusha, crown cactus. 
The rebutia is a genus of small cacti from Bolivia and Argentina. They're typically globular in shape and can grow to be about six inches tall. The flowers of rebutia are some of the most beautiful of any cactus. They come in a variety of colors, including yellow, orange, red, and pink. And they tend to bloom in the late spring or early summer. In addition, their flowers are quite large in relation to their body, making each blooming season a treat to behold. They're not the easiest cacti to care for as they require more water than most other types of cacti. But if you can give them what they need, they're definitely worth the effort. Number 13. Sea urchin cactus, Echinopsis spp. The sea urchin cactus, also known as the hedgehog cactus, is a popular genus of spiky cactus plants native to regions of South America. It grows in a wide variety of habitats, from hot, dry deserts to cool, moist forests. The sea urchin cactus has distinctive spiny stems and flowers that range in color from light pink to deep red. But what makes these cacti unique is their strong resemblance to sea urchins. In addition, these cacti tend to stay small throughout their life, making them quite suitable as desktop plants. These spiky succulents are a popular choice for gardeners because of its easy to care for and drought tolerant. In fact, the sea urchin cactus can survive long periods of drought without water and can even tolerate light frost. Number 14. Scarlet Ball Cactus, Parodia Hazelbergii. The Scarlet Ball Cactus is a globe-shaped cactus with crimson flowers. It's native to Brazil and Uruguay, where it grows in sandy, well-drained soil. This spiky cactus gets its common name from the shape of its flower. The red color really stands out against the white spines that cover the rest of the plant body. The spines are soft and hairy, hiding the main body underneath due to their dense spread. The blooms last for a long time when they do bloom, encouraging gardeners to strive for the perfect season. Number 15. Compass Feral Cactus, Ferrocactus cylindraceus. The Compass Feral Cactus is a cactus native to the southwestern United States and Mexico. As its name suggests, it's shaped like a barrel and can grow up to six feet tall. The plant is covered in spines that vary in color from yellow to red. They can grow to be about three inches long, and they're quite sharp, so handle with care. Interestingly, as it ages, it always leans south. Each specimen, in the wild or in cultivation, has a south-leaning trunk. This earned the plant its name as the compass barrel cactus.